Hi there and welcome to another lesson, Beginner's Chinese, my name is Oliver. In order to fully understand this lesson, you must know by heart all the information in my previous lessons. Before we begin, I'd like to say something about those so-called four tones in Chinese language. I repeat that they are not very important. As I will show you in this lesson, each sign or word has a certain tone, but as soon as you make an entire sentence with several words, then those tones almost fully disappear. In other words, don't pay too much attention to the tones, you will learn them automatically as you progress your study. Okay, now I will first show you a dialogue with subtitles. After that I will explain to you each phrase extensively. And finally I will show you the same dialogue, but this time without subtitles. Zhao 没有。那我请你吃饭。行,谢谢你。走吧。Let's go! Right, that was the dialogue. We start off wishing each other a good morning. 早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。早上好。the first character, Zhao, means early, and as you can hear, the Z is pronounced as DZ, Z, Zhao. Zhao. The second character is Xiang, and Xiang means on. We first say on, and then some location, for example, on the street, on a chair. In Chinese, first you say the location, and then you say on. Xiang. So street on, chair on. Shang. Zhao Xiang, that means on the early, or in proper English, morning. Zhao Shang. And if you wish somebody something good, then first you say what you wish, and then you say good. In this case, Zhao Shang Hao, that is morning good, or in English, Good morning. 早上好。我可以吗? 可以。Here I ask Wawa, 我可以吗? 我可以吗? 可以 means can. 可以。I ask her, 我可以吗? Can I? To translate it a bit freely, you could say, may I? 我可以吗? And Wawa answers, 可以, you can, or you may. I'd like to add here that in Chinese, if something is already obvious, then there's no need saying it. For example, Wawa doesn't say you can, but only can, because it's obvious that she means you. 请问你叫什么名字? If you ask something to a stranger, it's polite to begin with Could I please ask you a question? Or in Chinese, please ask. Ching wen. Ching means please, and wen means ask. And as you can hear, the Q is pronounced as ch, like in China. Then I ask, 你叫什么名字? 你叫什么名字? Diao means to be called, but also to call. And the J is pronounced like T-Y, as in I want to meet you. Me too. Jia. Diao. Jiao. Mingzi, that means name. Mingzi. 你叫什么名字? 
You are called what name? Or in English, what's your name? Normally a question ends with ma, but as we are using a question word here, what, we don't need to add the ma at the end. First she says, what ya wawa? My name is Wawa. Then she asks, Nina. Nina. Na at the end of a sentence means, what about? So, Nina means, what about you? Na. Then she asks, Nijiao Shoma, you are called what? Or, what's your name? And since it's obvious that she means my name, we don't need to repeat that word name or Mingzi. First I say, what yao Oliver? My name's Oliver. And then I say, Heng Gao Xing Ren Shi Ni. Gao Xing, that means happy. Gao Xing. Ren Shi means to know, but only of a person. So you can't use this verb Ren Shi when you know a city, a book, or something else. Ren Gao Xing Ren Shi Ni. Very happy to know you. Or in English, nice to meet you. Here Wawa says, Woyeshu, I also am, or me too. Then I ask, are you a China person? Are you a Chinese? Wawa replies, Tang Ren, Nina. As you remember, Nina means, and you, what about you? But she begins with Tang Ren, of course. Tang Ren. I tell her, Lai means to come, and Lai means to come from. Ojo, that means Europe, and as you can hear, O U together is pronounced O. Ojo. Ah, Lao Wai. Wawa says, Ah, uh, Lao Wai. Ah, uh, that sounds like one in French. Un, deux, trois. Ah, uh, and it means, Oh, okay, I got it. Ah. Uh. And then she says, Lao Wai. Lao Wai. Lao means old, but also respected or respectable. And Wai, that means out or outside. So, Lao Wai means something like respected foreigner. Lao Wai. Shama? Shama? What? Ni shi lao wai, You are a lao wai. Ni shi lao wai. Wai guo ren, outside country person, foreigner. Wai guo ren. Mei cuo. Mei cuo. Correct, you're right. Mei cuo. Let me explain that mei cuo for a second. 
First, you need to know the verb yo, which means to have. Yo. Mayo. That means not have. Mayo. The verb to means to make a mistake. As you hear, the C is pronounced as T-S. Tss. Tso. So, mayo tso. That means not have made a mistake. Mayo tso. And we can shorten that to made tso. Not made a mistake. Or in English, correct. You're right. Here I ask Wawa, have you eaten already? This question in China is a very friendly way to greet somebody. Ch means to eat. Although it's written chi, this word is pronounced as ch. Just like the verb to be, it's written she, but pronounced as sh. Fan, that means meal. Fan. Chifan, that means to eat a meal, or in English, just to eat. Chifan. Le is a very interesting character. If you say le after a verb, then this verb turns into the past tense. As I've said already more than once, Chinese language, and especially its grammar, is very easy. Have you eaten? Baba answers, meo, not have. I have not eaten. The words I and eaten are not said because the meaning is already obvious. Now watching Nitrofan. Here I say, now watching Nitrofan. Now watching Nitrofan. Na at the beginning of a sentence means then or in that case. Na. Ching. We've seen this character a few minutes ago. Ching Wen. Please ask. Ching means please, but also invite. Ching. Now watching Ni Chifan. Then I invite you to eat. Now what you need to find. Xiong, xie xie ni. Wawa says, Xiong, xie xie ni. Xiong is what you say when you agree with some proposal. Okay, fine with me. Xiong. Xiong, xie xie ni. Okay, thank you. And I say, Zoba. Zoba. The verb Zo means to go. Zo. This funny little word, Ba, is what you say right after an imperative or order to make it less aggressive, more friendly. Ba. If I would only say zo, then that would sound quite impolite, go. But when I say ba after it, then it sounds rather friendly, like let's go. Let's go. Okay, now you must pause this video, study all the notes you made, and then continue watching this video to see the same dialogue but this time without subtitles. Good morning. Good morning.
，我可以吗？可以。今晚你叫什么名字？我叫娃娃，你呢？你叫什么？我叫 Oliver， 很高兴认识你。我也是。你是中国人吗？当然。你呢？我来自欧洲。啊、哦，老外。什么？你是老外，外国人。没错。你吃饭了吗？没有。那我请你吃饭。行，谢谢你。走吧。Let's go.